Assalam o Alaikum everyone. How are you? This is Atik and I am welcoming you in the next session of estimation. And uh, if you are watching this video for the first time, uh, let me just introduce that what I am doing in these sessions. So basically, I am preparing an estimate actually uh, quantities of a 2000 square feet house and it is located in Pakistan. So in the previous sessions, uh, we have calculated all of these above quantities which you are seeing. Uh, actually, we have calculated the excavation of the plot and then we have uh, derived the quantities of PCC. And after that, we have calculated the quantities of concrete footing. And then we are going above for the footings of the columns and then we have the footings of retaining walls. And also, we are we have now calculated in the previous session uh, the masonry and the bricks which we are going to use in the masonry. So I am going to put the V card at your top right corner and click on it and check my previous sessions. So without wasting any time, uh, let's just jump into the today's session. So as you have seen that we have calculated the quantities of the bricks in substructure so if i move to the plans and i move to the sections uh, i'm going to tell you that here that we have calculated the quantities till this level so all the quantities beneath it are calculated so we have calculated the quantities of footing the steps of these masonry and that nine inch thick masonry wall beneath the plant level so what we are going to calculate today so we are going to calculate this 9 inches by 9 inches thick plinth beam and for that we are going to move to the ground floor plan so as we are going to move on this ground floor plan uh, we will be see that uh, we will be seeing that the plinth beam will be on each and every wall so the walls which we have marked already we are going to have the plinth beam at all of these walls so we do not need to worry about the size all we have to worry that uh, our beam is 9 inches by 9 inches here it is shown and it is uh, applied and while it is constructed on each and every wall you can see here that it is con constructed on each and every wall so what we have to do we have to go to ground floor plan and we have already marked these walls in the previous sessions so what we are going to do we are going to use this quantity 431.6 and first of all what we are going to do uh, we are just uh, we need to go to copy these few lines just deleting all this information this is adding and uh, now i'm going to write that we have to calculate the concrete for nine inches sorry nine inches by nine inches uh plant beam so what i have to do now uh, i'm just actually deleting these two lines because it is not our in reference so we need to calculate the cubic foot of concrete and after that we are going to calculate these cement sands and aggregate so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy and paste it on here it is already calculated as the formula is uh, applied on these uh you know qu uh, quantities cement sand and aggregate so what i need to mention here that uh the concrete work which we are going to do in plant beam is 1 ratio to ratio 4. So the formula in the cement, sand and aggregate we need to adjust it according to our this ratio. So first of all we need to calculate the quantities. So if I go to plant swift and we see that how much is the length of that plant, plant beam which we are going to construct. So that is 431.6 so all i need to write is 431.6 
and the other two dimensions of the plant beam so other two dimensions we have written over here those are 9 inches by 9 inches so we just need to multiply 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 couple of times and we are going to get the cubic foot of that plant beams so uh, we actually got the cubic foot of plant beams which are 243 so now we need to check these formulas that whether these are applied correctly or not so if i'm going to check the cements formula it's going to give me that 1.6 is the wet factor for the concrete and again it's using the d65 which are the cubic foot and it's multiplying by 1 because we have the uh, we have the ratio of cement as 1 and then it's dividing by 7 and of course the sum up uh, it and of course the total of the quantities is 7 so we are okay with the formula and uh, that's how we are done with the quantities of plant beams so uh, i hope you have liked this video there are a lot of you know works which we have done already so i am not going to repeat it like this formula which i have shown here i have just checked that they are uh, aligned with our uh, you know this work one to four work so uh, basically this is all for today's session and uh, of course and i hope that you have liked this video and you have liked my whole session and uh, I'm getting a great response from you guys. Uh, again, uh, it's, you know, the part of the video where we YouTubers uh, actually, uh, you know, ask you to subscribe, to subscribe us, to like our videos and to share our videos with your friends. So again, thank you very much for your support and keep on supporting like this and take care of yourself. Bye bye.